Have you seen Fran Seifer's video where she takes her Stampendous Jumbo Stamps and her Frantage Encrusted Jewel Kit and creates a beautiful greeting card? I love the technique, but I wanted to create wall art. As you can see, I love wall art. So I'm using the same technique that Fran created for her greeting card, but I'm turning it into wall art. For my Frantage wall art, I am using my Stampendous Repositionable Cling Rubber Stamps. Now look for this little note in the corner. This tells you that this particular design has a free template. What that means is in the package you will get these plastic pieces, which is a positive and a negative of that same Jumbo Daisy design. It's perfect for this project. I'm going to do some additional stenciling, and it's really cool to team it up with your repositionable clean rubber stamps. I am using a wrapped canvas and so the first thing that you want to do is to cut a piece of your scrapbook paper or scrapbook cardstock to the size of your canvas. The next step is to determine where you're going to place your designs. So I should be able to use the wording, my bird, and my jumbo daisy on this particular canvas size. So the first thing that we're going to do is ink this up. Now these repositionable cling rubber stamps are designed to put onto your clear acrylic pieces. I do not have one large enough for these, so I did not find that a problem on this project and we're just going to go ahead and stamp directly onto our paper. Position your stamp, press it in place, and it didn't matter to me that this actually overhangs the paper. It works fine in this project. So I'm going to keep on stamping. In addition to stamping on the background paper, I want to stamp one additional daisy. When you're finished stamping this extra piece, just cut out the design and set that aside. Now I'm going to add one more layer of design with the stencil. This is the template. And I am using my chalk ink and just lay the template down wherever you want it on your paper and apply your color. Now this is just very subtle to give you the effect of more flower designs on the paper. So put your stencil design on wherever you want. What's fun about the stenciling is you can layer your color to make it as opaque as you would like. So keep it light or make it a little bit darker. Now I'm ready to do embossing. This embossing powder comes from the Frantage Encrusted Jewel Kit. There are embossing powders and elements in each of the kits. I'm using the purple kit today. And with this technique, you just sprinkle that embossing powder on. We're not using any embossing inks. We're going to heat this from underneath. What's cool about this technique is then, once you've poured on that embossing powder, you can move it around with your brush to exactly where you want it. And then we're going to apply our heat gun underneath. We're not heating it from the top because we don't want to blow any of that embossing powder away. We're going to heat it from underneath. You can use any tool that you have in your stamping supplies that would hold this piece while you are using your heat gun or I'm just using pliers. So I'm holding this with the pliers in one hand and I'm going to heat from underneath. It only takes about a minute to heat up those embossing patterns and you can see that they are melted onto my cardstock now. And this makes a beautiful dimensional accent onto the flower. You can also do the same thing on your stamped background. Just sprinkle some of that embossing powder around and heat it from underneath. And this ties in beautifully when you bring the embossing powders up to match the flower. The flower is applied with your little pop dot so it is dimensional. You can offset it so it gives it a little bit more fullness or you can line it up exactly with your stamped image below. I have used my Aline's Tacky Glue to glue my paper onto the canvas, let it dry completely, use a piece of sandpaper along the edge that gives it a nice finish, 
and then you can glue ribbon around the outside of your canvas, tie it in a knot at the top to hang it. You can go to stampendas.com to check out the full collection of their repositionable cling rubber stamps and the Frantage Encrusted Jewel Kits. They are so cool. I love my new artwork. I think it's going to make a beautiful addition to my wall. Don't you think so? I'm Tiffany Windsor and I think it's really cool to craft.